Family, Trojan family, what's up, man? You, SCJ here. It's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. I hope everybody is getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, USC receivers, according to PFF, um, are in a category of their own. And look, you guys already know, we brought you a video way back in May um, stating, and stating our case that USC absolutely has the number one wide receiver group in the country. Now, the whole country is starting to recognize that. The whole country is starting to realize that. PFF, Pro Football Focus, is even starting to realize that. And you see here at the top, you notice that uh, it has only team with three team, three wide receivers with 80-plus grades in the country. It's USC. You see here, Brandon Rice with the 81.7. PFF grade, Zachariah Branch with the 84.3. Um, Taj Washington with the 87.5. Look. You guys already know that that's not even really scratching the surface as it relates to our receivers because you got a guy like Mike Jack. Um, and I'm getting ready to show you guys some other stuff, information, um, the article that they had back in, I believe it was ju uh, July, according to PFF, that they had Ohio State, Texas, those those teams at the top. But, uh, you know, I, I've always known that USC absolutely had the number one wide receiver core of the country. But we got guys like Mike Jack still. You got guys like... Um, of course, Jacoby Lane. You got Darian Sink, Dorian Singer. You got Mario Williams. You got several different guys. Makai Lemon, um, Deuce Robinson. We got several guys that are ne not even on this list, and it's really not even scratching the surface, um, according to uh, what PFF was saying. USC's wide receiver group goes so deep until it's just uh, ridiculous. Uh, Ky Kyron Ware Hudson. I forgot about him as well. Uh, let's take a look real quick at some of this information. That, uh, that I have for you as it relates to these guys of uh, raw receiver. Now I'm just gonna show you guys a, a, a brief clip. Uh, some of the guys that you see Taj right there, Caleb Williams is able to hit some of these guys, man. They hit, able to hit him in stride, man. And Taj being one of the most reliable guys, you see Mike Jack right there, um, him doing this thing right there. I mean, he's, he's one of the best receivers that we have on this team as well, man. Several different guys, man. He hits, Caleb hits everybody, man. And, and he's been distributing the ball um, to pretty much every receiver during the game. You see Brandon Rice there. That was the one of the, the second game of the season against Nevada. And then, of course, here you're going to see uh, hitting Taj Washington again. But this receiver core is so explosive, so ridiculous, man. I mean, uh, you see here the young freshman, Deuce Robertson, he, he's even getting the ball here, how explosive he is. Um, and I mentioned Jacoby Lane as well. So we got multiple guys, man. And then you see here Caleb hitting uh, Dorian Sanger on the swing. And he's not even on that list as well so we got multiple guys let's take a look at some of the information um that that we have for you as it relates to what pff is talking about. and just to bring it back to your memory real quick you see it was this was published you see it at the bottom here may 5th 2003 yours truly uscj brought it to you and i said here usc may have the number one receiver room in the country we already knew this we already we got jacoby lane on there we got kyron Ware. we got mike jack on there guys that they missed um, already missed. Uh, you see Mario Williams on there. We already knew what we had. USC fans, USC uh, uh, individuals, people that are around the program, we knew what we had. It took a while for them to get it. But let's take a look at this PFF information. And here's some, the article. This is from July. I'll get into a little bit more of it. But this is PFF. They ranked the number one receiving groups and they didn't even have USC up to the top. You see it said here Ohio State leads the way the Buckeyes top this list since they have the two best receivers in college football marvin harrison and Emeka um abuka you see him and then texas places second the longhorns have the top five players at this position and xavier worthy and uh jatavion sanders with incredible depth behind them washington and you see them here uh with, with their receivers uh rome a dozzy and then Jalen mcmillan uh make up the second best wide receiver duo in the country so i mean they, they didn't even have usc they were totally lost to the sauce and we already knew what time it was with usc's receiver core um you know we we got receipts we keep all receipts we always do because uh lincoln Riley has absolutely put together and uh, of course the the receiver the receiver coach has absolutely put together the best receiver core in the country and just to give you guys a better idea of who all they had this is the actual uh, PFF list here. They had Georgia. You guys seen the first three. You seen uh, Ohio State. Then you seen Texas. And, of course, you seen the other one. But 
Um, they got Georgia number four, and you see Georgia. You see what it says. Georgia receiving court started with Brock Bowers, um, who could go down as one of the greatest tight ends in college football history. Um, he's been the most valuable tight end. So they they kind of started it off with that as it relates to their receiver court, but they they had them ahead of USC, which was to me, which was absolutely absurd. That was one of the arguments we brought up um, in the summer uh, that you know they you know for them to put Georgia at number four was crazy. And then they had Florida State. Florida State was ahead of us as 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 well. And they had here uh, no receiving corp in the country benefiting from the transfer portal more than Florida. Now you guys already know I'm very high on the the guy that they ca ca had coming in, which was uh, Keon Coleman uh, coming from um, Michigan State. I was high on him as a receiver, but the receiver group as a whole had nowhere near the talent that USC had. I mean, for them to make that statement and you'll see where USC is placed. USC is placed here. Um, Coleman did have a big year last year, um, transferring from Michigan state. Uh, but, but it was on, he's a one man show. It was just, uh, Coleman is just a guy that stand. They do have a guy. I can't remember his name. He's six foot seven, um, real good receiver and, and Coleman. But those are the two guys. We got a plethora of receivers. And you see here, they have us officially this past summer at number six. And it says for the second straight year, Caleb Williams' top targets uh, will be an incoming transfer, uh, which they had, it, they had it wrong there. I mean, we have multiple guys. You guys see it here now. Uh, the top targets is they had Dorian Singer as the best coming in coming in as our, our receiver but i stated just like last year when jordan addison came in we had a plethora of receivers you know he he dorian singer is is one of those guys that um you know he he's pretty much equivalent in my opinion to all the receivers that we have he's good he's very good um but we got multiple guys that are good so you see that taj washington of course you see zach branch and zachariah branch and then brandon rice are the guys that are actually uh, leading the way right now as far as our receiver court, but it says here for the second straight year Caleb Williams top target will be incoming transfer Dorian Singer uh, will attempt to fill the shoes um, Left behind by Jordan Addison in the top 10 receiver uh, in the country. So uh, the former walk-on at Arizona uh, Tally 29 catches that went for 15 plus yards last year So that was an article that PFF have so they ranked us number six uh, in the country as far as receiver courts, but you guys already know uh, USC now officially according to PFF Has the number one receiver core in the country and is led by Brandon Rice, Zachariah Branch, Taj Washington all receiving grades of 80 plus only team in the country that has that type of status right now The USC Trojans man, you guys hit me in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think Listen, don't forget make sure you get up get out and make some things happen until later on Everybody stay blessed. Fight on, fight on, fight on.